Hello and welcome back to another episode of Pathfinder! I did a little bit of stuff off camera since the last episode ended. I collected a bunch of uh, clay uh, along the river here and over there as well uh, to make a bunch more grout so that we can move forward with the uh, smeltery, the Tinker's Construct smeltery. I also made some furnaces to start you know, making all the, all the seared bricks and I made some glass because I'm pretty sure I need some. Uh, I also made uh, skillets and I made some toast, which is surprisingly easy. You just put some bread into a furnace and it makes toast. And I'm pretty sure there was a recipe um, for a burger, hamburger, was it a hamburger? Which is just toast, raw beef and a skillet and it gives us a hamburger. So that's something that seems like it could be good. Good way to get some some food here. So let's try. Um, can we do more at once? Okay, do this stack. Stack to four. Not bad at all. Okay. Oh, and they give us. Oh, they give us a lot of hunger back. That's very nice. So there are a few a few easy recipes. I mean. So there was a nourishing meal, and then there's wholesome, hardly large, wholesome large, hardly large. Interesting. So, so the the hamburger that we just ate gave us three and a half haunches, and t uh, is it almost two saturation? Cheeseburger gives four and four. Bacon cheeseburger gives four gives four and a half and five and a half. Deluxe cheeseburger gives five and six, so yeah, we could could look into that. But yeah, we need for the cheeseburger we need a hamburger and some cheese, and for cheese we need milk and well, salt on the pot. The pot is made out of yeah. We could we could do that. We could do that. We could we should definitely look into that as well. Um, but today I think we'll focus a bit on moving the quest lines forward again. We have been struggling to do so recently. Uh, so yeah, that, that was one thing we wanted to do, the Agricultural Journal. Uh, I made the book and quill. This time it didn't just magically <laughs> turn into paper. Um, yes, give me, yeah, give me all of that, whatever. Uh, let's see, was it this way or the other way around? We'll find out, I guess. Maybe the other way around. <laughs> yes. So we got that. Um, Captain's log. Okay, can get our reward back here. And that unlocks the Cumbra, whatever. <laughs> With our basic foods of carrots and potatoes down, it is time to start breeding some more exotic crops. Bali would be the logical place to start. Yeah, we already got Bali. Uh, yeah. Bali is created by, you guessed it, two wheat crops mutating onto a cross crop. Okay, yeah, we, we did that already. Excellent mine. The seed analyzer can be used in conjunction with a seed journal to view the various aspects of seeds. This includes things such as the amount the seeds yield or the speed at which they grow. So we need to make a seed analyzer next. Uh, let's check this journal. Oh wow. <laughs> uh, da -da -da -da. Can't I can't go to the next page? Uh, I can tr keep track of all your discovered crop mutations. Okay, okay, so that that will fill up over time. Let's check the reward bag. Some bread. Ah, uh, let's let's just put that in here for now. Um, what else? Oh yeah, the seed analyzer. Let's see how we, how to make that. Let's see if we have all the necessary stuff. Seed analyzer. Um, we need a glass pane, some sticks, uh, some sort of a stone slab. Could be anything though, right? Nether brick. I think there was cover in there as well. Sandstone, stone, brick, cover. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> two wood branks and a wood slab. A complicated recipe. We should have all the things we need for that. So we need one wood slab, we need 
two planks, we need a bunch of sticks, I think more than that. Uh, glass pane. I don't have enough glass to make panes. Uh, do I have some sand left? I do not. Let's go and get some sand. Okay, it should be good. Didn't really count how many I got there. But like eight, seven? Should be eight now, okay. We don't have to waste fuel there. Uh, let's see, is there... Let's just do that and put the rest in as well. Inventory management still a <laughs> big issue for me. Uh, as you can tell, I'm pretty sure. Um, okay, then while that is going, maybe let's worry about something else. Let's make let's make the stone slab so that we have it. Put that in the bag as well. Uh, okay, the other thing we needed to do was to make all the different parts for the smeltery. Uh, let's see if I remember <laughs> any of the of the. I think the the casting table we need. So let's make that. Definitely need a, need a faucet. I think that's like that. Yes. Uh, what else? Uh, I made some some bricks already. It's three of the required things. Uh, I need the, the the tank, so I need some. I think this uh, is the one of the glass. Pretty sure. So one glass, and then like that maybe. Oh yes. Uh, um, is this is there something like that? Two? Yes, there is. The controller. Uh, let's try not to lose our parts. Uh, casting table, smeltery controller, see a tank, see a faucet. I have the bricks. I'm not sure what else. Let's just check the book. Maybe that's all. Uh, drain. Don't know how to do a drain. Or do I? No, I don't. Drain. Okay. Pretty straightforward too. That's nice. So we have all the bits and pieces now. I don't remember how many how many sealed bricks you actually need to build the, the thing. We'll find it out soon, I assume. Um, yeah, we made all the pieces. We get another reward back. Unlock a new quest. Ferragut. <laughs> I have no idea. Another important metal to find would be tin. We already have some tin. Uh, it will allow us to create bronze, a type of metal that will make it far easier to mine most ores. It would be nice. I think we need an upgrade to get some redstone and stuff. Um, so tin, tin can be found. Blah blah blah. We did that. Cast. When three aluminum and one copper are placed into a smeltery, they will form aluminum brass, which can be poured over any sort of part to create a cast. Here we'll need a pickaxe head cast, so we'll pour it over pickaxe head. So we need to make a stone pickaxe head and then make the head cast out of that, but we need to build the smeltery for that. And I don't really remember how to do that. <laughs> um, so, well, let's look in the bag. Effect none. That's the one I need for the quest, right? Where did it go? Oh, yeah. I think that's the one I need for the quest. Well, this one. Yeah, effect none. Do I need to craft it? It's not enough to have it? That sucks. But it's also fine. Um, oh yeah, the seed analyzer thing, the glass pane. I need, I need a better... <laughs> I need to manage my inventory a bit better, or a lot better actually. Uh, so what was it? Sticks? Put all of that away. Um, I think it was this and that and that, that and that. 
yeah, wow, I remember that. Seed Analyzer, quest book. Making tons of progress here, <laughs> finally. Um, yeah, can be used in conjunction with the seed journal to view the aspects of seeds. Okay, so we can, well, we'll, we'll try it out in a second, I guess. Kitomea. <laughs> with barley available, we can now breed many more seeds. Rye would be the next step, along with rice. Okay, rye can be created by breeding wheat seeds with barley seeds. So we need to set that up in our little farm area over there. But let's... Oh, you place a town. Okay, I, did, <laughs> I thought I could use it. Do I have some seeds left? No, I think I, I used them all to craft this thing. Well, whatever. <laughs> uh, let's work on the smeltery, I guess. See if I can figure this out without looking it up. I doubt it. <laughs> oh, let's check the reward back. Wooden pickaxe head. Not, not, the, not the greatest thing to get right now. <sighs> I'm running out of space. Um, the drain? Yeah, okay. I think... Let's put that in here for now. So where, where do we want to put our smeltery? Let's put it down here, I think. Yeah. Let's just... Here. Carry out a bit, okay. So I don't I don't really remember how, how it goes exactly. I think you need the floor out of the bricks, and I think it needs to be 2x2 two two at least. This might already be wrong though. <laughs> We'll see. Um, I think we can put the, the tank just there, maybe. <laughs> Controller, let's see. Um, Invalid structure, okay, yeah, so it tells us at least. That's good. Okay. Uh, did I pick up? No, I did not. Grab the rest of those. So let's make. Uh, not sure. Doesn't doesn't look like we have enough. We'll see. Oh, I think there's more in the in the thing. Though is that a valid thing already? Oh yeah, looks like that's already a valid structure. Um, okay, so not not that bad then. <laughs> I did remember, kind of at least. Okay. Um, yeah, we need it to be higher for sure. Uh, where do we want? Let's put the drain here. I think it works like that. And then the faucet, the, the casting table. I think we can just place those on top, right? I'm not sure. Dress it up a bit. I really don't remember. <laughs> All of the details. No, I put them in the chest already. So I can make one more. <laughs> oh, that's exactly what I needed. Uh, so the tank is empty. I think we put lava in there, right? Can we use anything else? I don't think so. Yeah, and then we smelt the ores and we see what's in there and then we can pour it out over here. Yeah, I remember that. I think there's also a seared glass thing, isn't there? So that you can look inside. Or maybe I'm just imagining that. Uh, oh, there is seared glass. How do we make that? Um, five glass and four seared bricks. Okay, we can we could do that. We maybe, maybe we'll add a window or something. So you can look inside. I think that's a good idea. Um... Yeah, so we need we need lava for that to work, right? It's not a way. Oh, there's some lava in the in the in the crater over there. We could get that, but it's not a lot. I don't have I don't have like a lava lake or something like that. So I don't know. Is there a way we can make lava? <laughs> Let's see. Um, we can make. Lava out of redstone and the uh, Orcanite amulet. How do I get that? 
Okay, I need six lava buckets, which I don't think I have enough source blocks for that, and some dark matter. How do I get dark matter? Out of diamonds and Eternaris fuel. Or out of a dark matter block. Yeah, hmm. Is there another way? Yeah, magma crucible, we can turn obsidian into lava or netherrack. We don't have either of those. But we can turn copper into lava. Okay, how do we make a magma crucible? And how does that work exactly? Is that the, the right machine? Must be. Uh, net brick. That's, that looks, yeah, that's pretty expensive. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's gonna take us a while to get there. Okay, so let's, let's not worry about that, I guess. Um, so what did the quest book say exactly? We need to get some rye out of wheat and barley, and we need to make a pick X head cast. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I can't. I can't. I can't use anything else as fuel there, right? No. I think I always used lava, but I never really had the issue of not having access to lava. So <laughs> maybe I just don't know. So much stuff. Is there another uh how does this matter? Be? Um Oh yeah, we could make one of those too to make blocks out of the ores that we smelt. Oh can chisel the bricks, did I know that? Not that that useful really, but whatever. Hmm. Yeah, I think we have to use lava for this. Um we have a bucket right here. So why not? Let's go and get some lava. Make the make the thing. And then we'll go to the farm. Work on that for a bit. And then we'll see what, what else the quest book wants us to do. And then there's still, I mean, it feels like there might be good stuff just out in the world. Like that island up there. There has to be something up there, right? I wouldn't just... Are there vines growing? Oh yeah, there are vines growing down, it looks like. <laughs> Not that useful though for climbing, unfortunately. No no block behind. Um, yeah, but we might we might just block jump up there at some point. Check it out, I guess. I have a bunch of obsidian here too. Hmm, so sand. Oh, 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 there's some netherrack too. And some ores left as well. Interesting. Let's take that. Or not. Let's not have it selected. And let's head back and try not to set ourselves on fire here. Yeah, so I think I want to go exploring for a bit as well, but maybe not right now. I think I should just set up a bit more still. I don't have any machines, really. Well, I have the teleporting stuff and I have the alloy furnace. And now I have the, the Tinker's smeltery, but those aren't really high-end machines at all. So I'm not sure. I'm also not sure how long I'm going to spend, you know, in this world. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm still not sure what my end game goals are going to be here. Is this just shift right click? No. Right click. Okay. <laughs> so we have one bucket in for we could have four in there. Yeah. Okay. So what what was the uh combination for aluminum brass? Three aluminum, one copper. I think we have that, barely have that, but we have it. So that, sh that should make the aluminum brass. And now I wonder, can I use... Uh, it tells me to use a stone... Oh yeah, I need a stone pickaxe head for the quest, so I need to make a stone pickaxe head, no matter what. I don't think I have a stone one, I have a... Yeah, I have a wooden one. Let's see, I think I do have another one. 
feel like I got another one somewhere. Maybe that was stone. I don't remember though. I thought it's not that important though. Um, big X hat. Let's put that in there. Uh, put the stencils away. So that should give me the first part, right? Yes. And we put that back here. Yep. Yeah. I remember stuff. Aluminum brass. That's what we want, right? Yes. And now we just do that. And what? Do I have to oh, right click it. Okay. Pickaxe head cast. Very nice. Uh, crew. Uh, bronze can be made in the smattery with three copper and one tin. You can then pour it into the cast to create a bronze pickaxe head, which we should could swap onto ex an existing pickaxe. I don't know that you could do that. Or use in a future one. Okay, so we need to make some bronze, which is what? Three copper, one tin. I think we have that as well. We definitely have the copper. One, two, three. There's our tin right there. Um, so three copper and one tin. Should make bronze and then we put that there. So now we need to wait for that to smelt. Yeah, we'll run out of fuel pretty soon here. We can't do a lot of smelting like that. Ah, well. We'll figure something out, I guess. There has to be a way to find more lava. I haven't found any caves, though, which is really surprising me, kind of. It looks very, you know, vanilla terrain generation, but I haven't seen any caves. <laughs> Uh, bronze, yeah, and it's, uh, yeah, it's on the bottom, that's where we want it, right? Now we can pour it into that, get it, get it out, and complete the quest. Next up, Honshu. <laughs> Another useful ore found beneath the ground is nickel. Uh, don't I have any nickel yet? Uh, not only can this ore be used for many machines, this ferrous ore can also be used as pickaxe head, if nearly twice the durability as the bronze one we have. Okay, so nickel is the way to go. Between Y5 and Y20. Oh yeah, we haven't been digging a lot down there. So that that's the next thing we might want to go for. Um, so, what does it make sense to, to do that? How do I switch? Okay, so that would make my, let's see, right now it has, no, let's put it, let's take it out again. It has, what, can I see the durability? Or shift? It's weird, if, does it have to be down for me to see the durability? What? I was, I, wow, that's weird. I could have sworn I was able to see that before. Okay, whatever. So that would change. Okay, there we see. It's uh, 97, but it's effectively a bit more because of the reinforced one. And if we change that out, do we lose our skill? No, we don't, right? So would that make sense to do that? I'm not sure. Well, let's do it anyway, whatever. <laughs> oh no, we keep our skill lever with the pick. Its mine lever is now redstone. It's still, yeah, it's reinforced two and has still a luck. Yeah, okay. I think that's not a bad idea then. Who knows? We'll see. Oh, let's re open the reward bag. A wooden pickaxe head. How, how nice. And effect non timred, which we don't really need. Two of those already now. Two of those two. Hmm. Okay, so I guess that's it for this episode. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. We made some nice progress, got the cemetery done, made a new, well, changed our old pickaxe. A lot of good stuff happening. Next time we'll, you know, try to advance the farming, farming um, quest line a bit and then 
I don't know. We'll see <laughs> where the quest book takes us. So, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.